Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our own devices. I'm Jean Messier and a little while ago I made a video on fire grenades which were an unusual type of fire extinguisher popular in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. These consisted of a glass ball full of some sort of fire retardant liquid, typically carbon tetrachloride, designed to be thrown at the fire whereupon the glass would break, it would release the liquid and hopefully put out the flames. Now due to the marginal effectiveness of these grenades and the toxicity of carbon tetrachloride, Traditional fire grenades were mostly off the market by the 1960s, but today you can buy a new and different type of fire grenade. So this consists of a thin shell of styrofoam filled with dry chemical fire extinguisher powder and a small explosive charge. When you throw this into the fire, the charge explodes, scatters the powder, and hopefully puts out the fire. So last year I did an experiment in which I tested one of these grenades on a big shipping pallet fire against which it proved completely useless. My logic at the time was that the only time you would ever need one of these is for a large fire that you wouldn't want to approach closely enough to use a regular fire extinguisher. However, some of you have pointed out other situations in which this would be useful include chemical fires that are very toxic and you also wouldn't want to get close to or using this as an automatic or sentinel fire extinguisher. Indeed, this comes with a special bracket that you are meant to screw to the wall above a piece of equipment that is prone to catching fire. And as soon as the fire does start, this will automatically go off, dousing the fire before it can grow. So today, I'm going to try a similar experiment, but on a much smaller and more realistic scale. So first, I have my fire grenade set up on its proper bracket above this fire pit. I'm going to build up a fire and see if it automatically goes off and douses the fire. If not, then we're going to go to the direct route and throw this directly into the fire and see how it works. So, without further ado, let's get to the experiment. Oh. <laughs> That'll do it. Uh, you might want to start your... Yeah. So I'd say the results are pretty conclusive. Although the grenades did go off, they only went off after a considerable delay after being exposed to a considerable amount of heat. And even when they did go off, they didn't put out the fire at all. So I would say on that evidence that these are not the greatest investments. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that and you considered this a more realistic test of this type of fire extinguisher technology. Thank you so much to my friends Andre, Andy, and Gabe for helping me out with this one, especially Andre for allowing me to use the fire pit at his cabin. And I'll see you next time in another video where we'll look at yet more fascinating devices, hopefully more successful ones than this. Until then, I'm Jean Messier from Our Own Devices. Have a great day.